I am a, a clean comic. I um I don't typically work blue. Uh, let's see, um, what else about me? Oh yeah, I um I love movies. A big movie buff. Anything with Jean Claude Van Darn. Um, <laughs> I miss the I miss the good old days. I, I miss the, I miss the good old days. And my good old days, I mean the days when Will Smith used to make rap songs for his movies. Am I alone in that? Like it seems like going towards the end of the of the nineties. Uh, things were going great with Will Smith movies. We had uh, Men in Black, Bob West, and he was writing songs for these movies, and they were great. And I just knew that going into the millennium, we were about to get jiggy. But then he became a serious actor, and um, which is great and all, but I wish that he still wrote songs for his movies. Like, um, I don't know, Ali, for example. That would be good when he got an Oscar nomination for it. Um, that'd be cool if he had a song written for it. It'd be like, they tried to send me to war, but it got the last laugh. Changed my name to Ali, and I dodged the draft. <laughs> fly like a butterfly. Or, uh, or Concussion. That's a new one. Um, I don't know if you guys have seen that. It's about like uh, the NFL and head injuries and all that. That would have been a cool song he could have written. Football is dangerous, and I've got the proof. So, Roger Goodell, you need to tell the truth. I, um, I'm trying to lose some weight. I, uh, I started to uh, get fat a while back ago, and, um, and I made it. I'm here. I, mission accomplished. I, uh, yeah, like this, like, I don't know if you can see all that. Like, I've, like, my body is just dying to get out of this suit right now. I've got host versus necktie going on. But there's a difference in, like, n getting fat and then knowing you're fat. Like, getting fat, you know your clothes are starting to fit a little tighter than normal. But you know you're fat when the back of your shower stops getting wet. And that's where I'm at right now. That's what's going on uh, with me. But it's my own fault. I love food. Like, I didn't realize food was a problem until the other day when I drove by a Taco Bell and I smiled at it. Just vo involuntarily just smiled at the Taco Bell. It was weird, too. It was like, it wasn't, and when I say smile, it was like the shy, boyish smile of someone watching their prom date come down the stairs. That's how I felt about that Taco Bell. Oh, I am trying to make better healthy decisions, though, um, health-conscious decisions. I tried to eat a kiwi, um, try to cut up a kiwi for a snack the other day, but I didn't like it. It was just uh, too hard to get past all the the blood and feathers and tiny, sharp little bones. It wasn't wasn't very good. I, uh, I just found out that my bed, my mattress is not one of those where you could pour a glass of wine and put it on the mattress and then jump on the bed. And the glass of wine won't fall over and spill all over the mattress, like the ones you see on TV, you know? Yeah, it turns out uh, it's just a plain old waterbed. So, got that going on. I am uh, what you might call the Harry Potter friend in my group of friends. You guys know what I mean by that? Yeah, like, anytime me and my friends are out together and, and someone outside of our friend group mentions anything Harry Potter related, they all kind of cut their eyes at me and smirk because they all know that both of my parents were murdered. <laughs> so. Uh, I heard the other day on the radio the song Wannabe by the Spice Girls. And um, the DJ after went off said that, that song turned 21 years old, which is hard to believe, but it's cool that, you know, it's 21 years old, but the message of the Spice Girls and the message of that song Wannabe, that message of girl power, is still relevant today. You know, feminism means equality across the board. Women deserve as much ziga ziga as men do. <laughs> I, uh, my brother just got married to his longtime girlfriend. He's very proud uh, of, of that. Um, he calls her his uh, trophy wife, but he's a millennial, so I call her his participation trophy wife. <laughs> My kids are just now getting into Disney movies, which is cool for me. Um, I love Disney growing up, and uh, I showed my son my favorite Disney uh, cartoon, The Lion King, and uh, and he really liked it, but he was confused by it. He said, Dad, they keep talking about the circle of life. What does that mean, the circle of life? I don't understand that. So he's six. I explained it to him the best way I could. I said, well, you see, the life expectancy of a male lion in the wild is 15 to 18 years. The Lion King, the Lion King came out 24 years ago, so Simba's dead. And 
Puma and Timon probably ate the worms that ate his carcass. The circle of life. Thank you, Dope Fades. Thank you, Dopeys. Thank you, Christian. Uh, thank you, everybody, for having me. Have a good night.